Hello, my name is uh, Louis Palladini and welcome to Creations in Clay. Uh, tonight I'm just working on a wildlife sculpture that uh, it's a cougar with two cubs, uh, one that I call the lesson. And uh, you know, I'm just adding the finishing touches to this. And what I'd like to show you tonight is something that's in the cat family. Cougar is part of the cat family, but I want to show you how to do a kitten. So what I will do is I will show you how to do this kitten, and I will show you how to do it from start to finish. I will show you how to sculpt it and how to paint it. And, you know, it's, uh, I, it's, it's a very simple animal to do, and I think a lot of people have cats at home or, and kittens, and it's a very popular animal. Uh, the types of clay that you can use for this, uh, this is an air hardening clay. It probably can harden like in a couple of hours or overnight. You can use this type of clay, which can be bought in the, in the, in the art store. And another type of clay that you can use is an oil-based clay, which never hardens. It comes, this one here comes in multiple colors, and you can just reuse it again and again. And, you know, this, this type of clay, I used to use this all the time when I was a kid. It's a lot of fun to use. You just can keep doing it again and again. And when you, don't, when you finish a project and you don't want it anymore, you just, you know, roll it up in a ball of clay again and then make a new project out of it. But uh, my preference for clay is a clay called Super Sculpey. It's just a preference of mine. It, you can fire this in the oven at 275 degrees and um, you know in about after about 15 or 20 minutes and then you, it enables you to paint it so that's what I like about it and you can do a lot of detail with it and uh, tonight I will show you what we'll be using for uh, tools we're gonna have we're gonna use a trusty little toothpick tonight and that's what's gonna be used for the fur the types of clay we'll be using. We're going to have several balls of clay, which are right here. This ball of clay here, we're going to use for the tail. And uh, I'll show you how to do that. It's very similar to like when we did the puppy. Uh, then the next ball of clay I want to have, you want to have this particular size for the head. This size ball of clay for the body. And then you're going to have four smaller balls of clay that are roughly equal in size. And these are going to be used for the, the four legs, these balls of clay here. And then you're going to have a couple of ball, smaller balls of clay about this size for the ears. You're going to have this size ball of clay for the snout. Then you're going to have these two balls of clay. I'm, we're going to use these for the eyes. And then we're going to use, and then we're going to use this little bu small piece of clay for the, the button-like nose. So the first thing that we want to do to make the kitten is we want to take this piece of clay here and sculpt it into the shape of the body. As you see here, you almost think of like a, a giant potato. So you you just kind of work it like that, and just make it into the shape of the body. It was going to, you know, like I said, it kind of looks like a potato. So. We're just going to work it like that and make it into the shape of the body. Sometimes you can even roll it like this in your hands. Or if you want, sometimes you can roll it on the table like this. And that will enable us to get the shape that we're looking for. And I like to round it out a little bit like that. So the next step in the process I like to do is take this ball of clay here and this is going to be the head, and we're going to work it in to the body like this. So what you do is you take, and you want to take and kind of work that clay in to the body like this. You take and just go around the whole thing. This way, the clay, they kind of like blends together, or, or you mold it together. So, because if you don't do this, it... it and you just kind of push the ball of clay in, the, the head would fall off. But you just kind of want to work it in like that. And then we just kind of just, just work it with your fingers. And, it, and you, that's what you do. So when you, when you finish with it, it kind of looks like something like this. And what we will do, I'll just rotate that a little bit. You can see how I kind of work that in there. The next step we will take in the process 
is we want to make the tail. And we're going to take this ball of clay here, and we're going to take, and you almost kind of make it into a point. So what we'll do is we'll take and we'll sculpt this with our fingers. And you want to make like a bushy little tail. Cats have bushy little tails. So we're going to take, and you can see, just kind of work it like that. And you make it into this shape here. I will show you from all angles. And this is what we will do. We will now take this piece of clay that, that we made into the tail, and we're going to work it in to the, the back of the body like that. And we're going to take and just work that like that. And that's how we'll do the tail. And the next step in the process after the tail is I like to work on the legs. We have four of them. So what we can do is we'll put this piece down. We will take, and an easy way to make the legs is you can take and roll these on the table like this. Take and just roll them like that. That way it will give you the trunk-like shape that you're looking for. As you can see here, I'll roll it a little more, and you have that trunk-like shape. That's what it looks like now. And you, we're going to do four of these. So what we will do is I will proceed to make the other three, and we'll roll this on the table and we will make the legs. What I will do is we will proceed to make the third one. We'll roll it like that. It's good, good to have a table like this because you can make a lot of use of it by rolling it and, you know, then we can kind of knead it a little bit like this. And we're going to make the fourth leg. And we'll roll that on the table also. And then what I'll do now is we'll kind of just work the clay in our hands. We'll kind of round it out a little bit. They almost, they almost look like little sausages the way they're made right now. So I, we'll look at, and then I'll look at the others, and they're approximately going to be the same size. When we place them together like this, they're roughly the same shape and size. And we will see, I'll place this near here to see. That looks about right. And then we'll, finally, we will do the fourth one. And we will just work that with our fingers. And we'll put that there. So now the next step in the process that we are going to do is we're going to take and we're going to place these legs on the kitten. So we will take this. I'll show you. We will take the clay like this and just kind of work it in to the body. Take and just work that in like that. And then we, I will go underneath here, and we'll do the same thing, because we want to make sure that we're hitting it from all angles, working that clay in like that. Then we will take and we will work another leg in from the other side. And you'll just kind of work that in like that. You can see how it is working the clay in to the body. And just kind of mold that in. And then underneath, you want to kind of work that like that with your fingers so it, it, does, it attaches pretty well. The next step in the process is to attach this th third leg. And we will take, and you just kind of work that in, like that. You just work that into the body. And we will take, and you can see underneath here, I am working it underneath too, because you need to work it from all sides. And finally, we will take and put this fourth leg on here, on the back. We will take kind of work that in like that. 
and you take and you just work the clay. We're going to get it from the bottom, like I've done before. Make sure that that is attached there. So now we, we can kind of look at it. And you can see that the, the body is starting to take shape for this kitten. So then the next step in the process that I would like to take is we want to create some little paws. So what we would do is take and we would kind of pull this out a little bit in the bottom. And you create these like little paws. And we're going to do the same on the other side. You see here we just take it like that. And don't worry so much about the proportions right now. They, they might be a little off, but I just want to kind of let you get the feel for this clay. Because you can do some incredible things with it. And then we're going to do the same thing for the rear, too. You see how we're going to pull these feet out in the bottom. And you can do that. And then we're going to do the same for the last and final leg. You're going to take, and you're just going to work that like that. Kind of pull that out a little bit. So the next step in the process that we will take is we're going to take our toothpick, which I have right here, and we're going to create like little paws. So what we want to do is we want to create little indentations here. So you're going to take this toothpick and you're going to go like one, two, three. And you can kind of see the, I'll try to spin that around a little bit so you can see it a little better. You can see the little indentations. And we're going to do the same for all four legs. We're going to do one, two, three. And then we're going to do the same for the back. One, two, three. So you get those little indentations. And then finally, on the fourth leg, we're going to do the same thing. I just want to, one, two, three. So now the next step that we want to take in the process is, you can kind of see he's starting to take shape. He's starting to look like a, a cat, the basic shape. We're going to take and create some little ears. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this ball of clay like this, and we're going to create a triangular shape. And we'll just create this. So, and then what you want to do too is you want to kind of inside the inner ear, you'll kind of want to create a little indentation. And I'll kind of show you. If you look at it from the side, see how we kind of have that little indentation. So what we're going to do is take and we're going to work this ear into the into the head. So we're going to take and we're going to just take it like that. I'm going to work it. And just work that in from all sides. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do the same for the other side. We're going to take this ball of clay and we want to make that triangular shape like that. And you just do that triangular shape. And we're going to take and we're going to put that on the other side. And you want to make that little indentation also. So you just take and you put that in like that. We're going to work the clay in. Now the next step we're going to take is we want to create the snout. So we're going to take and we're going to, I'll show you, we're working the snout. And we're going to make the snout. This is kind of the shape that you want. That's what it looks like from the front. That's what it kind of looks like from the side, the back. So we're going to kind of work that into the face here. And we're going to take, and we're going to just work that in like this. Just going to work that in. Do that, work that in. Kind of just work that in. 
and you just kind of work that in like that. The next step we're going to take is I want to create the pancake-like eyes, the little balls of clay, very tiny like this. And we're going to take and you just round it out and then you just kind of squish it into like a little pancake. And that's how we're going to create the pancake-like eyes. So we're going to take, so this is what it will look like when you're down in the front. The side is very thin and we will take and we will place that on the face of the cat. I'm going to put that right there. And we will do the same for the other side. I will grab this little piece of clay. It's like a little pancake eye. And you can see, very tiny. And I will take and create that little pancake-like eye. And we're going to place that on the head right about here. And then we will take and we were going to create the little button like nose. So what I like to do is I like to take, I'm going to flatten it out, but I also want to kind of make a triangular shape. So this is what the, the nose will look like. I'll show you. We'll sculpt it. It kind of looks like a little triangle. From the side it's flattened out. And we will take and we will place that on the nose right here. just kind of work that in. So what I like to do is make a little indentation. You make a little indentation here and a little indentation here. You kind of want to make that little indentation for the little cat's, kitten's nose. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to make the fur. So what we would do is you take the toothpick and you just kind of work it along the body like this. You work it along the body. You just want to keep just taking and dragging it like that. And you're going to do that all around the body. You're going to do like the ears, behind the ears. You want to do that. You just keep, and then you, you do that on the head. And the face, the facial area, you probably just want to work that with shorter strokes. You just work that with very small, short strokes. Because it's, usually the fur on the face is a little finer. But you're going to do that all, you're going to do the legs this way. So you're going to just take, you're going to do the entire legs. And just keep working it around. You're going to do this all around the body. You're going to do the legs that way, go completely around. You're going to do the other leg that way. And you're going to do the body. You're going to do the tail. And I'll just show you. I'll just, I'll just show you a little bit of each. So the tail, just kind of work it like that. So you basically have the idea. And I also would like to do one other thing. I want to make a little smiley face on the cat. So what we'll do is we'll take and we'll kind of make the, a, smile, a smiley face like that. And you do it from the, you do it in the front. And we're going to do that from the side too. So the and this is what your cat will start to look like as you know you're working on it. You know, don't worry if the proportions are a little off. You know, the most important thing is learning how to use the clay right now. And then over time, I'll gradually show you how to make more and more detail and to a level of detail. You know that uh, things will look better and better. But this is, these are just some basic techniques just to kind of get you going and understand and get the feel for the clay. So. What will happen is, as you work on this, we're going to look at the one that I had fired in the oven at 275. You can see how I, I did all of the fur all around the body. And that's what you want to, with the toothpick, 
and you just kind of work it. And what we will do is I'm going to show you how to paint this now. So what we will do is we have acrylic paints. They can be bought in any art store. There's about 18 acrylic paints in this uh, box. And that's, uh, these are the colors that we'll be using. Tonight, what I'd like to do is take, we're going to use just a few colors. We'll take these out. So we will use, we will use like a tan color for the cat. I try to get this, this as close as I could. There's not, you know, I'm looking at the colors here, and this is the closest thing to like maybe like a golden tabby cat that I could think of. The other color that we will be using is black for the eyes. And then the other color that we'll be using is pink. And this is what we'll be using for the nose. So I'm going to show you how to paint the cat. So we will we'll proceed to get our brushes. I have several brushes here. And what we will do is you're going to be using different sizes. We will use this size brush here for the body. You can see that it's got a wider head and that will be good to do the body. This size brush here we'll be using for the nose and the eyes. That way we can get to a greater level of detail. As you can see it has a much finer head and that's, it's great for making the eyes and the pink like nose. We will proceed to do the tan color right now. And I will show you how to do that. We will take, just dip the brush in, and then what you want to do is you want to go with back and forth strokes to, to paint the cat. Just go back and forth, and we're going to do the entire body this way. We're going to do the legs. I'll show you how to do some of the legs here. We'll paint the legs like that. The other leg, you'll see we do the other leg. So you go all around. You even want to get underneath the underside of the cat. So you're going to get that area. You want to paint back and forth like the underside of the body this way in this manner. And we will paint the body. So you just go back and forth, back and forth. And that's how the man you'll paint the body and the legs. Then you also want to paint the ears, which we have here. And you can and a, you use a back and forth type stroke for that. As you can see here, we'll go back and forth, back and forth. And we'll do the other ear. And you, you got the idea. So just go back and forth like that. The next thing, you'll paint the entire body that way. The tail, the feet, everything. The next thing you will want to do is you want to take and paint the eyes. The eyes now are a little more detailed, so we're going to paint black button-like eyes. And we will take, and I'll dip this in, and we're going to do the eyes now. So you take, you just kind of go over the eyes like this. And then you kind of want to paint around too. See, you want to paint from the side too, like this area here. And we will proceed to paint the other eye. And we'll do that. And, you know, it's starting to really come along now. You get to see the eyes and the, uh, you'll see the nose, it, uh, it'll all start to come together. So what I want to do is take this brush and clean it out a little bit and I will proceed to use this for the pink color. We will now take the color pink and we will make the nose. We will take and we will paint the nose pink like this. And that's just like that, a little bit, just 
back and forth. And as you can see, that's what the nose looks like. So eventually, when you have finished painting your cat, this is what it will look like, the completed cat. It will have the pink nose, the black eyes, the ears. You can see how it's all been painted that tan-like color. And this is what your kitten will look like. Very simple and basic. Over time, I'll show you how to make greater and greater detail, but I want you to start, learn the basics now, and, and we'll, uh, I'll show you more tricks as we go along. But uh, that's what the cat looks like. I also would like to give you a better view of a sculpture I had done many years ago, the one that I was working on earlier. It's uh, the cougar, as you can see from the front. I just want to show you that the tremendous amount of detail that's in this. The baby cougar standing on the log there. You can see the, the, some of the bark has been stripped away on the tree. It's really cool. Like right there, you can see that. And we'll proceed with the rocks. And I will just turn it slowly so you can see some of this detail. And you have the other baby cougar on the side. And another thing I would like to do is I'll do it from the top. So you can see it this way. So you can see how the, the cougars, little baby cougars standing on that log. This is one I made almost 20 years ago. It's one of my favorites. And that's what it looks like all around. I do want to thank you for coming to Creations in Clay today. And I look forward to seeing you again next week. And uh, I will get back to this project and I will finish completing it. And see you next week. Hi kids, how would you like to win some professional modeling clay like the one that I use in the show? Please send pictures of your creations in clay and we will enter them into a drawing. You can send by mail or email and I can't wait to see what you've been up to.